This video is all about building the ultimate tiny kitchen in our van. My wife Natalie is a professional chef and she deserves the best gourmet tiny kitchen. This kitchen is gonna mean so much more to me than it did the first time. We're Nat and Abby, this is Bear and Peluche, and this is our van to Wanda. After two years of traveling coast to coast of North America, we're making some changes to our off-grid tiny home. Join us every week as we make a little progress and a lot of mishaps. I'm working on the countertop, I'm really excited, my kitchen countertop. Yeah, you're gonna get to stain it something new pretty soon here. Oh, all right, I think I'm done. Whew, I've been standing for like five hours. I think it's ready to go. It's ready for staining. This thing is freaking beautiful again. The insert for the sink is like baby's butt smooth. Every little project takes so long, but she's ready. So this is the, this is the frame and this is the countertop. And we need to account for this space since our refrigerator this time around is a lot deeper. <laughs> I want to give a huge humble shout out to Dometic for sponsoring us. This time around we have our luxury dream kitchen and I'm so, so, so honored to have these products in our van. Dometic has been on the top of their game for Nomads for years and years and years. We used to have a top load fridge that ruined me and Abby for months. We had so many problems with it. Worst customer service ever. We bought another fridge, whole thing, and then we just had a little stove that worked well, but I didn't get to make pizzas because I didn't have an oven. So now come check out this upgrade, you, you guys. Behold, our Dometic fridge freezer. Ooh. Not even ready. I don't even want to put anything in, it's so pretty. We even get a little mini ice tray. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. I'm beyond excited. And our new Dometic oven, three top burner and oven. So you guys know that we're in a tight budget building this new rebuild. Having these two appliances sent to us is amazing. Thank you so much to Medic for sponsoring us. Larry, you're the man. Thanks. There she is. Oh, it's so pretty. It's gonna go really nice with the rest of the counter. Oh, look at that. Look at it. <laughs> I literally really have gotten into wood, I think. It's just kind of nerdy at this point. account for where we're gonna put our faucet holes. I'm so excited about the new ones. Check these freaking things out. Our drinking water faucet. Oh, you guys, I am obsessed with how this looks, by the way. Just wait, just you wait till you see the countertop done and stained. So that'll sit to the left. Main faucet in the middle, soap dispenser. All right, we gotta put that back together. So we cut the hole for the faucet, but the problem is when I put it in there, it doesn't come through enough. It's just a very sad little piece hanging out. So I'm going to have to flip this over and I'm going to use the whole saw bit that's larger and I'm going to make a hole large enough to fit the washer and the piece that needs to tighten onto it. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. It's a whole thing. Get it? A whole thing. I just realized that the whole soap has to go all the way through to finish the hole. So I have to chisel out the depth that I need. All right, trial and error, that's what we do. <laughs> Anybody want a donut? Oh. 
Ah, it's getting cold out here, but I'm finally, finally just staining. Okay, it's taking me like three days. <laughs> I can't wait to stain this. It's beautiful. And it's perfectly smooth. I decided to go with a dark walnut. When I was planning out the kitchen, I wanted to go darker on everything, and I really, really, really wanted a darker countertop, and I think it'll look really sexy with our black faucet with the accent of copper. Oh, I hope I like it. This is Natalie's first time staining. <laughs> first time staining, and it's on our beautiful countertop. Hey. Yeah, it's my kitchen. I'm building my dream kitchen, so I want to do this part of it. Five minutes later, She's still trying to open the thing. So, I have, my arms hurt so bad. I've been literally sanding for the past three days. Abby, all right, can you come here, please? <laughs> please help me. <laughs> Y'all, you even ready for this? I don't even know if I am. Baby, how much do I do like in one go? Just rub it. Like you're massaging my back. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, you know what she's talking about? Oh, it's looking great, babe. How do you feel about staining? Isn't it fun? Hell yeah, look at this wood bag. Look at this wood, this is so pretty. Oh my God, this kitchen's about to be so good. Hey y'all, this is it, baby. This is it. Are you ready to see one? I am so ready to see this. <laughs> oh my god, I have a countertop that's stained. Ugh, I've been working all day and my muscle said screw you. I need to go take a hot shower. I'm proud of you. Your first time staining and you did a really good job. Baby, yeah. Dude, I love this countertop. I love the countertop. It turned out really, really well. And that's like a log cabin. Oh my God, you guys. This is amazing. This is so pretty. All right, I'm back. Today, I'm not playing around, okay? When I put this on, this means that I'm not playing around. Today's progress, all right? Let's do this. We're gonna start framing for the lower cabinet um, where the oven's gonna be. Oh, and today's music choice is Banagram, okay? You don't know, now you know. Banagram is one of my all-time favorites in the world. All right, now we can get back to work. When I put this on, this means that I'm not playing around. Okay. My beautiful, sexy, Dometic CRX 110. I can't wait to cook on you. The super sweet thing about this Dometic and their instruction manual, it's just very thorough and it gives you, it actually gives you the exact dimensions you need for the inside. So behind me is my countertop that we refinished. It's got the stain, the stain's nice and dry, so I gotta put the first coat of poly on it. All right, here we go. While the first coat of poly is drying, I'm gonna start on the cabinet doors finally. Today, I'm listening to, it's called Lost in the Woods Radio. So the other cool thing is my Spotify. I just sometimes will go on there and just give me the recommended playlist. And this one's got Tosh Sultana and some other cool like vibey, chilly stuff. So that's what I'm gonna listen to today while I put these hinges on. Right now, Abby is doing something really cool on the front of the van. I'm trying to think if you would have already seen the video. Yeah, you would have. She's painting the map right now on the front of the van and she won't let me look at it. Right now it's happening and I can't see it, but I'm really excited. Boom, three and an eighth. I don't math very well, but this is pretty simple, so. Oh wow, I'm an idiot. I'm not doing these right now. Okay. Ah! 
I'm only putting these parts of the hinge on. It takes me so long to do anything. Good God. Not only do I have to think about the design of it, but then I have to think about how to even try to execute, okay? I'm not that kind of lesbian that has like tool set and has it all figured out, okay? I'm learning as I go. <laughs> Wrong freaking door. Yes, that's the noise you want to hear. I'm sure everybody is noticing our beautiful pantry doors. Yes, I have not talked about the pantry doors yet. Abby was mad because she said, you're not making this an easy sequence for me to edit. <laughs> you don't sound like that. Yeah, look at these freaking pantry doors. You remember those cardboard templates I was working on while I was with Lady Gaga? Well, I got the thing pretty, pretty profoundly perfect. I mean, they're not even correct there right now, but the seam is like really sexual and I'm very proud of them. I'm happy we went with this hardware after all. Our van is now like mother nature, brought inside, mixed with a really dope whiskey room. That's kind of the vibe that's going on here. I can see that. Love you. Okay, I love you, bye. Dude, I got serious alfalfa sprout happening here. What is that? <laughs> Abby's laughing at me. So I got all the doors up except for one. I need to put Abby's shelves in her cabinet. Her really pretty shelves that you guys have seen, okay, that she's obsessed with. They're really cool. So I gotta put pocket holes in these, you know, my favorite thing to do. And then we're gonna install those and I got one more door to go. Abby's shelf. Ooh, ah. And I got a little shelf on the right side over there. Hmm. Oh, hey in there. <laughs> How you doing? It's sunny out. It feels so good. Feeling the vitamin D. I've got to sand that and then do another coat of poly. I don't have to do much because my strokes are very smooth. <laughs> good morning. Let's do this. You call on my life. You break the line. I'm falling for you. You're stuck in my mind. Just all the time, I'm falling for you And tell, tell me your secrets oh, yeah. I love you so much, you beautiful CRX 110 Oh, hey, okay, so we're switching gears This is what I do all day, I switch gears, okay I really think I'm ADHD But I was working on the lower cabinet for this But I'm short some wood, so I'm going to switch gears I'm going to work on my hidden pantry And I've got to cut these walls a little bit shorter um, They're just a little bit too long So we're going to rip these and then I can start building the inside pantry. So that's today, hopefully. Welcome to our minimalist shower and bathroom. For the hidden pantry, I've got my two walls out. So I have to have a fixed piece that's going to go at the top, the middle, and the bottom that my rollers are going to sit on. While Natalie's hard work on that sliding pantry, I've gotten the paint back out. What's my favorite word? Extra? Yeah, this may be a little extra. I have plenty of leftover paint, so why not? I think our doors have so much more personality now. All right, that's it. Back to kitchen building. Making progress on the pantry. I'm gonna pull out like this and then I'll have the shelves so that I can access all my stuff. See? Full pantry, okay? Not a skinny shower. Stop it. Back to work. Only day four on the uh, hidden pantry. Got my measurements. Had to redo them several times. But she's coming together. 
Look at that. This is going to be a box, and this is going to be a box. Add it in. All right, Luce. Go get my, go get my circular saw, buddy. And that's how you rip it, okay? Slides for our sliding pantry. Now the tricky part. We gotta figure out how to install them. Separate slide members by depressing the lever release as shown in figure two. Lever release. Let's find the lever release. Where you at though? Where is it? Oh. We're gonna be here a while. Um and quantity fail! When the directions fail, we go to YouTube. Is that screw because? No. So it's no. So the most important thing here... Which freaking screw are you screwing, woman? I'm so lost. Wait, that... Huh? <laughs> that be... <laughs> this is literally YouTube University. How else do you think I built this freaking van? Three hours of YouTube University. My very scientific method of doing this is using a stick. We use it as a spacer so that we can get our drawer slide where we wanted it. And now we're going to take this spacer and move it over to the other side. And we should have the exact same, it should be at the exact same height. That's the that's the goal there. So I'm gonna take my other one and get it right to the edge. Homemade door side jig. This is proof that she exists, okay? Yeah. Check it out, ready? Ready? Ah! You see that top close? <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god, we're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, it's been a long day, but it's worth it. Oh my god, look! <laughs> look at my pantry! Ooh. In order to keep working on the lower cabinets, we need to get the plumbing sorted out for the kitchen sink. We definitely are not savvy plumbers. Go figure. Going back to my dad's because I don't be screwing with plumbing like that. <laughs> Let's go. This is our lovely drinking water faucet. So we'll have one faucet for washing dishes, cleaning up, that kind of thing. And then we'll have a separate faucet, this one, which will be attached to a filter underneath. So we have purified, clean drinking water. Oh, this is my dream kitchen. It's time to join our countertops together. There she is. That uh, looks awesome. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That really does look good. Oh my gosh, Yay! it's so beautiful. It's starting to look like a kitchen in here. I know. <laughs> cool. How cool is that, babe? Your ultimate kitchen. It's a real deal. <laughs> this thing's gonna be slick by the time I'm done with it. <laughs> Two years. Without an oven. It's Two years fine. without a freezer, guys. Time for my pizza and my cold drinks. Two years without a freezer. We're gonna have ice. Wow. You're like officially a plumber. Oh, you're not a real plumber. Where's the crack, Natalie? Where's the crack? Yeah, you gotta, yeah, you gotta okay, have my underwear's way up my back. Your underwear's like so far up. You are not a plumber. There you go. Oh. Hey! <laughs> What's up, guys?
Sorry, I was texting Abby. She's at the store getting stuff from Trader Joe's, and I have to add, like, certain things that I want that I remember last minute. God bless her. Anyways, so welcome to the end of my video. Last week, you saw Abby paint the whole van. She did the most amazing job. She used the smallest freaking brush I've ever seen. I don't know why. My wife does some quirky This week is me trying to tackle the lower cabinets in the kitchen. Anyone that watches every week knows that me and Abby don't finish a task in a week, other than the van paint, which was, like I said, blew my mind. My mind goes everywhere when I'm trying to figure out things. And so I start on a different project while I'm working on another project. That's just us being raw. You know, we're not going to finish something and try to get it out in a week just so we can get the video, whatever. We want to give it to you as it is. And that's, we, that's all we know what to do is be real, as real as possible. So once again this week, I have not finished the kitchen. We really want this van to be, this rebuild to be a new start and, and be able to add every single thing, every detail that we want so that we can truly call it our dream home. And this is truly my dream kitchen, so I'm taking my sweet time on it. Just the other day, I had an idea to incorporate a very, very important piece that has been in my family before I was born, and I wanna show it to you. Ta-da, you guys. So this right here is my grandmother's um, old spice rack, and she had this thing hanging in her kitchen when I was growing up. Had all of her herbs in here. Look at this thing. It's got this really cool, like, herb and spice compatibility chart. I grew up in my grandmother's kitchen, sitting there watching her cook all of her Puerto Rican food, and that's truly where my love of, co of cooking started. And I didn't realize that till later on in life when I went to culinary school, but I have to thank all of that to my grandmother, Matilda. I love you very much. God bless your soul. She uh, raised me for three years, actually. I wanted to find a way to honor her and that thing has been sitting in the garage of my parents house for a while and I was like I can make it the door literally of my cabinet so that's what I'm gonna do stuff like that this kitchen is gonna mean so much more to me than it did the first time and that's what I'm working on so that's my last project and hopefully by next week I will have both lower cabinets done I do want to give one more huge shout out to Dometic we are so 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 thankful for our appliances I can't wait to use my freaking oven and fridge you guys, I gotta build these cabinets first. We're just blown away by this company. And this thing looks so good. Sitting in my kitchen. I can't wait, you guys. I am I'm obsessed. I am truly blown away and obsessed with our hard work and dedication and how this came out. And that fridge and that oven is gonna look so sexy. Before I head out, I want to be able to do some of these truth or dares that you guys sent me. If any of you follow our Instagram and saw last Wednesday, Abby and I did a all but one little challenge and it was where I gave you a couple of things that were true about myself and one thing that was not true. And everybody that guessed the thing that was not true gets to do me a truth or dare. So I got some really, really interesting ones. So I'm going to pick a few out and do them for you now. Emily Peru, sorry if I butchered your name. Here's your cartwheel you dared me and see if I still have it. Ah! Cartwheel. One hand, ready? Oh, my shoulder went. <laughs> oh my God. There you are. Lindsay from Wander for Miles asked me to do the chubby bunny challenge, which is where you stuff as many grapes in your mouth as possible. If I choke on camera, Abby, you better save me. <laughs> keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm not gonna make it. Are you counting how many grapes you put in? No. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. This is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is for Katrina, the striped gardener, wanted me to do pig Latin. I couldn't do the whole episode because we film it ahead of time, but I'm going to do a couple lines. All right, let's see if I can do this. Ankfe uye la orfe a portse ore uye ubite anelche ande orfe alenche Use ute ive ivle <laughs> ra s bay ivesle. <laughs> you oh. suck at pig Latin. Dude, that was so bad. So I try to say thank you all for supporting our YouTube channel and 
Thank you for challenging us to live our best lives. Clearly that's what you heard me say. The last dare that I'm gonna do, I'm really excited about this one. This is from Beth from The Heart Wants Adventure on Instagram. I think it's really cool that our fans like really pay attention to the details between me and Abby and our nuances. And Beth knows that I write poetry. So her dare to me was to write a poem to Tawanda, to our van. And I thought that was really cool and I've never done that. And yeah, I'm super excited about this poem and I'm gonna read it to you. This is the dare. I titled it, Dear Tawanda. Dear Tawanda, we place our love in people, in ideas, of what we think we deserve, in things that don't have souls but give our comfort levels spa days. Then there are the corridors beyond love, a shared emotion, a natural high, an emphatic wisdom, a valued lesson, loving what we actually deserve. And throughout in between it all, there is a love of home. The place beyond where we place love, it's where we become love. Because home is never a house, but the joy within the middle of ourselves. Home and love go hand in hand, and with my two hands, I built you from the ground up. This vessel I now call home once carried prisoners, and now she roams free amongst big nature. She is the summation of all that I've worked for to enjoy my life, just as the full moon enjoys holding the universe in her life. Here's to you, Tawanda, writer of wrongs, queen beyond compare. Thank you. And that last line is from Fried Green Tomatoes, which is my favorite movie of all time and where Tawana's name came from. So another fun fact. Thanks, Beth. Thank you, guys. We'll catch you next week. <laughs> We're about to get G'd up. G. G knows what I'm talking about. I'm trying to work on our transitions. How was that? Let's try it again. Let's see. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. <laughs> it's not like a game show host. It's really hard to like look at yourself in the camera and feel like you're acting the same. You know, like when you're like server, I served for like 10 years of my life and you get to the table and you're like a totally different person. I mean, it's kind of like that. I'm getting used to it, but yeah, bear with me, okay? Okay, see you later. Check this out, this transition, ready? She's gonna make it look cool. Look at that hair flip. Look at that hair flip, that cabinet hair flip. Hi, welcome to our van tour. Welcome to our minimalist shower and bathroom. <laughs> How are you gonna go to the bathroom? It's a Murphy toilet that extends to the edge and you just, like so, okay? If you eat enough vegetables, that thing will just shoot back like a rhino, okay? Dude, that could totally work. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, we're not doing a Murphy toilet. This is Abby's timeout space. Okay, when we fight, I throw everyone here for a little bit. I could really get clean in here. That's awesome. We're gonna do the we're gonna do the dual shower head on both sides. Yeah, so then we can shower together. Oh wow! <laughs> so nice. Get out of the way! I gotta scrub my back. <laughs> All right, we're getting back to work. Nat the Ripper, y'all, and I have a little cut right here, like a. Dang! And splinters and all your fingers. Yes! Unicorn Winnie's waiting to come outside because she doesn't want you to see her. <laughs> She's beautiful. Yeah! <laughs> And why, is it, why do we have a separate drinking water faucet from our regular faucet? Because we're bougie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? We have to, the only thing you need to know about plumbing is the right. Hot water on the left, cold water on the right, and shit doesn't go uphill. <laughs> <laughs> we got the feet. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who the hell is that? <laughs> Not only does our new faucet have a 180 degree turn, but you can also wash our little pooch right there perfectly clean. And then it also has an air dryer. Beep. Perfect, it also grooms the dog. <laughs> Come on out, fresh pony. <laughs> I don't for this dog. Luce, how do you like our new sink? I love it, I not. See later. Did you like this video? I know you did. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave us a virtual hug, AKA comment. And be sure to subscribe for all the how not to's on van building.